Bowser's feeding his fury, ladies and gentlemen, and he's delivering drop kicks instead of using his head. When the Koopa King first joined the battle and hadn't mastered flying slams yet, he'd claw the competition, which bore a resemblance to the first swipe of the drill claw technique, followed by a punch pose similar to his long-standing side tilt. Breathing fire has been a staple of his moveset since the beginning, but the flamethrower method was first established in Super Mario 64. Additionally, his recovery seems to mimic the Koopaling shell shenanigans, while the Bowser bomb comes courtesy of Super Mario Bros. 3. He also brings Giga Bowser into the fray for his final smash, calling back to Yoshi's Island and Super Mario Galaxy 2 with its ultimate perspective and performance. And when it comes to his colors, he boasts the classic Super Mario World design as well as the fake Lost Levels look. Back when he had yellow hair, his red skin used to resemble more of his Mario Golf days, too. He might have a history of being trounced at every turn, but just let him shift gears and he'll prove he's still got the drive. Hey there, pal. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning a little lore, you know the Drill Claw. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your most valued buddies. Sharing is caring after all, and you're gonna want to make sure your chums know they matter to you with a bit of a Bowser bash. Sounds sensible to me.